700 MB. It's more. 700 Mbps. This is like 800. That's heading wow, towards 900. Wow, wow, wow. Upload speed is 700, 800 MB. <laughs> Are you serious? Have you guys ever wondered how the internet works? It's not just satellite. The backbone of the internet are cables laid on the ocean floor to connect one place to another. In the case of Africa, we have a cable called the ACE cable, which connects a large part of West Africa to the internet. The cable links Europe, West Africa, and South Africa together. This same cable links over 14 countries across two continents. Back then when I used to hear about the internet, I thought it was something that was radiating from above and beamed down to us that we now connect our phones to to use. I never knew it was connected by cables. It is said that if they took all the cables that is connecting the world's internet together, they can roll it around the earth 24 times, like the whole earth 24 times. That's crazy. So why are we talking about internet? As a content creator who is constantly uploading content, it's always very stressful. My internet is always very slow. Even when I make calls with people, it's always a problem. And whenever I travel to other countries, even countries in Africa, I'm always wondering why is their internet working? Why is ours always usually slow? When I was in Ghana last time, I tried out their internet, it was working well. When I was in South Africa, it was also working well. I did some research and I found out that in Africa, South Africa and Ghana have some of the best internet. They are the top. Nigeria has one of the largest users of internet in Africa, but not the fastest in regards to speed. If we were to draw up the chart of the internet speeds across Africa, you will see that Nigeria ranks somewhere below in regards to how fast the internet gets. Singapore is leading the pack and you can see how much transformation the country has had in the past couple years. So why am I talking about internet? You know, as much as I want to make videos promoting Africa, showcasing entrepreneurs, and just sharing my experience as an African living in Africa, I believe an increase in our internet speed can positively affect Africa. If there was a way to increase the internet speed in countries like Nigeria, it can positively affect Africa because first of all, Nigerians, we are like ants, we are plenty everywhere. And we are also hustlers. We know how to hustle. We know how to produce stuff. If we had faster internet, there are so many benefits. One of the first one is increase in productivity. Somebody like me, I use the internet a lot. I'm always using the internet on Instagram, on Twitter, on all those platforms to share my videos with you guys. Me having problems with internet just makes my work a little bit harder. If I had faster internet, it would be easy for me to upload easily and quickly. Another good point for internet is that if you have good internet, your stress levels are reduced. You don't stress yourself out too much because especially living in a country like Nigeria, there are too many things stressing you out already. There's already traffic, there's bad power. So if the internet adds to that, that's just more stress. Lastly, which is one of the most important ones, I believe good internet will lead to more collaboration across the country. You know the reason why we have so much traffic in Lagos? is because it's overpopulated. Imagine we had different people spread across different states of Nigeria, being able to work remotely. Remember what happened during the pandemic? A lot of people had to work from home and then people were heavily dependent on the internet and the internet came to the rescue. People could do Zoom calls, they could connect with all their office workers, they could get stuff done even though they were not in the same place. One of the reasons why this is difficult is because our internet services are very very slow. Content creation is taking over the world. A lot more content creators can start making content because they have fast internet speed. Another thing I didn't even talk about too is also education. More people can have access to education. Then a lot of people that don't have access to education or don't have access to going to maybe like an expensive school can get access to the internet. And if you have access to the internet, you can have access to the world. The internet is one of the biggest driving forces for development in any country. Imagine what would happen if we didn't have internet in Nigeria. Would I even know how to make videos? I learned how to make all the videos I post on this platform on the internet internet via YouTube. I learned how to build a business via YouTube. <laughs> if I didn't have the internet, I wouldn't even be here. You wouldn't even be watching me. I believe the internet is really important and the slow speed of the internet is something I've been battling with for a very long time. Until a company called IPNX reached out to me. IPNX is a fully Nigerian owned company. Uh, they provide internet services for most of the big corporations and most of the big estates in Lagos, Nigeria. And they promised me that they have a one gig per second internet service. And I'm like, one gig? How is it possible? One gig per second? The highest I used was 100 MB per second and that was in Russia and then just to prove themselves they said they have their internet connectivity in an estate in Chevron called Northern for sure and they invited me to come down here to come and test out the internet speed. I'm currently on my way to Chevron Drive now to see if this one gig per second is really true. Just imagine the possibilities having one gig per second. Whew. Lagos traffic always trying to slow you down in life. Guys we just finally got to Northern for sure estates. It's one of the nicest estates to live in Lagos. They have low fences. They also have a lot of greenery. On one side of this estate is the Lagos Lagoon, which has one of the nicest views. So if you're living in this estate, you're, you're chilling and you're living life. So let's see if one gig is really possible. 
And I came with my laptop because people are saying they have one gig, one gig per second. But I don't believe it, to be honest. Hi, what's up? Hi, Tayo. How are you? I'm fine. This is Najite, is the product manager at IPNX. So this is one of our gigabit enabled estates. Every home here is basically cabled and okay. able to achieve one gig per second speed. I still don't believe it's one gig per We're second. We're going to test. We're going to test. OK, <laughs> let's test it out. Let's test it out. OK. OK, okay after you. Okay, so we will hook you up with the modem. So over here, we have our IPNX fiber modem. Is that what gives the one gig, this modem? Yes, here? exactly. So the service is delivered over this modem. Okay, so, okay. so what I need to do is just connect it to my All you have to do is connect directly to the modem. Okay. So to check if this is true, there are two sites I usually use to test out internet speed. One is speedtest.net, the second one is fast.com. So guys, come, come, come. Let me show you, come on. Come and see the screen itself. So this is the moment of truth. This is the moment where we see if you can actually get better internet in Nigeria. I'm not even sure if we can get to 100 MB self. So let's just let's just check it out. So speed test, uh, check out the screen. 700 MB. It's more. 700 Mbps. This, this is like 800. That's heading wow, towards 900. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, can you imagine? I've, not seen, I've never seen internet that is this fast in Nigeria before, ever. Let's check out the upload speed. Upload speed is 700... 800 MB. Hey, are you serious? 900 Mbps per second. Check, check it out. Show them, show them, show them, show them. <laughs> are you serious? For so many years, like in Nigeria, I've always been having problem of uploading videos. Most of the time, usually, I usually get around like 10 Mbps. This is 846 Mbps per second. So if I'm uploading an 800 Mb file, that would take me one second. <laughs> You've seen it for yourself. This is certainly <coughs> possible. And uh, every ah. home on our fiber network today can actually subscribe to this speed. Comment below what your thoughts are on this internet speed. And also comment what internet speed you get in whatever location that you are. This is the best service you can have for home broadband. IPNX is the best, the fastest, and the most reliable mm -hmm. fiber internet provider. So after checking out the internet speed and seeing that it was actually possible, I was wondering who owns this company? Is this company owned by a foreigner? You know, usually when people see stuff like this, they usually think it has to be from outside. So I decided I had to see the CEO of this company to ask them more questions about the internet service in Nigeria and figure out how it can be improved with services like this. So what all these feats IPNX has achieved? Is it a Nigerian-owned company? Absolutely. Oh, IPNX okay. is a fully owned, 100% Nigerian company. Why is the internet in Nigeria slow as compared to other countries? It depends on the platform, the okay. technology. And that's what we're trying to change at IPNX. We're trying to bring that experience that you have seen in the Western world here in Nigeria. We are the first to deploy fiber to the home technology in Nigeria. Ooh, and nice. yes, yes, we nice. are. <laughs> I'm proud of you guys. <laughs> and over the last eight years, we've been able to bring that experience that you know, that you've seen yeah. in the Western world here in Nigeria. So that's really what we want to do. That's what we are doing. And that's who we are. Awesome. I was browsing online one day and I saw a one gig per second fiber optic service. How possible is one gig per second? It is absolutely possible. We have done it. It is not us just coming out to say here is one gigabit per second, but people have tested it. So yes, we have it. IPNX is the first hmm. in Nigeria, in West Africa, to, wow. yes, to deliver one gigabit. Per so when, when are you guys coming to connect to my house? Because I, uh, I need I need I need to be uploading my videos. <laughs> today. <laughs> I need to today. be uploading my videos on YouTube. Today. Just, just give us your address. As soon as you're ready, you sign up with us and you get it today. So how wide is your coverage? We have coverage in Lagos, streets and estates and you know some gated communities. We also have coverage in Port Harcourt. We do have in Abuja as well. Okay, and we awesome. have a lot of plan to expand into other cities in Nigeria. How affordable is your service for the average Nigerian? First of all, our residential plans are completely unlimited plans. Ooh, nice. Yes, meaning that you don't get cut off for exhausting your data. Okay. You also do not get throttled, you know, your speed getting throttled and all of that. We don't have it. We look at value. Value is the first thing that we propose. I'll come back to your price. I know you're okay, very... Okay, <laughs> yeah, I want to know. That's what many people want to also know too. I, I know, but yeah. it's important that I address value, yeah, right? True, so true. because we are keen on you having whatever speed that we have advertised and having it consistently. Um, regarding price, which I know you've been waiting yes. for really. <laughs>
our least plan is twelve thousand nine hundred per month. Yes. Oh, I see. I spend uh, I spend way way more than that. So months. we have to activate you today. Yeah, <laughs> today I'm getting activated. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna be dropping more videos now that I'm connected to IPNX. I know. So thank you for taking the time out to answer all these questions. I I think I know what internet service I'll be using now going forward. This is one of several data centers that we have. Oh, scattered nice. across the country. Oh, so this is where the magic happens. Exactly, you could say that again. So we have uh, infrastructure here that aggregates all the fiber cables that go to individual homes and businesses around this community. So we aggregate all of them here. I've suffered from bad internet for a very long time. It's always very frustrating whenever I want to upload a video and then it takes me two, three, four hours to just upload a single video to YouTube. It affects my productivity. It makes me post less videos for you guys. I really believe that if we have faster internet in Nigeria, it will lead to a lot of positive development across the country. I believe a lot of things can be achieved just by increasing the speed of the internet. That's why I'm so happy to be working with Nigerian companies like this who are coming up with new ways to change things, to improve things in the country. So shout out to IPNX for sponsoring this video. Shout out to them for calling me down to check out their space and also to test out their one gig internet service. If you'd like to get more information about this product, please check out the links in the description below. And as always, uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.